So now let's do something completely different. Just switch off your brain for a minute. Switch it back on. I just want to show you examples of an, a, a region which is very complex and which is connected or which connects the Labrador Sea to the Arctic Ocean, which is a very complex region. Similar to the Indonesian through flow, but it has many different channels and straits and many islands. It's called the Northwest uh, Passage. And I want to want to show you observations along two lines, which are shown here. So first of all, where are you? You are north of the northward of the Labrador Sea. So here's the Labrador Sea. Labrador Sea is one of the two regions that produces deep water in the ocean okay and then if you go northward you end up in Baffin Bay and you get through a straits into the into the Arctic and I want to show you observations across this uh, passage and this is this is fascinating stuff and you learn quite a bit about in particular density temperature and salinity stratification Okay, and we are in polar regions. All right, so let's have a look at the, these two regions. And I show you vertical profiles, vertical cuts cutting across. And it actually includes here information on both temperature and salinity. Okay. The colors shown here and the contours are, 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 are temperature fields indeed. Okay, but the, the red numbers show you the salinity values. So let's see how complex it is. If you have narrow passages, okay, then the, the, the exchange is mainly controlled by density difference. It's density difference. There's heavier water com on one side compared to the other side. It creates a density driven flow okay let's have a look at the smith sound davis strait baffin bay um, structure there and here you can see very interesting structures you have the typical polar feature of having very cold low salinity water at the surface and this supports the creation of sea ice okay and the existing sea ice doesn't melt because the surface water is cold. But in this example, you can see that there is a subsurface flow coming, okay, of a little bit warmer water, which spreads at a depth of 500 meters, comes from Davis Strait and spreads into that area at that depth, okay, 500. Okay. Also, at depth in Baffin Bay, you actually have relatively warm water. It's zero degrees Celsius, which is warm for marine environments. Okay, because you remember that you have to cool down water to a temperature of around or oh, minus two degrees for salty water, okay, for seawater in order to form sea ice. So zero is actually really warm, zero degrees. Okay, and there's another example here, the other Barrow Strait example, and where you can see on one side you have very cold, low salinity surface water, and then uh, in Lancaster Sound it turns into a subsurface. Okay, it dives underneath a warmer layer. Okay, so these, these regions are fairly, they have fairly um, complex exchange flow. Okay, between um, cold, low salinity water and warm, um, either higher salinity water or, you know, anyway, so you ha have a look at that. That's just, just one example of how complex these exchange flows can be.